Hi guys, so I am here at Ethan's house and I am celebrating my 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> what an accomplishment, congrats. Thank you so much. That's amazing. So how long have you actually had this channel? I have had my channel for three months. It took me much longer than three months to get my channel to 10,000 subscribers. Oh, but Ethan and his mom, who's behind the phone, say hi. Uh, both Ethan and Mara have been such great collaborators for my channel. So what way to celebrate? I think we should go over just awesome moments that we've had together on Ninja Kids TV set and also on my channel. Since we met. Yes. What so do you think? these will probably be some old memories. Old memories from a year and a half. Ago. The, yeah, probably <laughs> the oldest memories will still probably be like a year, year and a half. Ago, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we come a long way a year and a half. <laughs> cool, let's do it. So a lot of people have asked us how we met and where we met and actually you do see us both on episode 2 of the Power Ranger series that we didn't meet that day. No, we saw each other but we never really met. Don't interrupt me again. I have a new asset to acquire. We saw each other from afar and Ethan, there was this scene that she had to shoot and uh, I wasn't in the scene but I was watching her being shooting the scene and every once in a while because since she would film the scene over and over again just to make sure they would get a good take out of it she, um, there's this part where she say don't waste it they morphed that's your problem my power is precious don't waste it and when she did that, everyone, we were at least 200 feet away from her. We were, and we could hear that easily. So and I, so I couldn't even imagine how the microphone man would handle that. That's true. He was like, ow. <laughs> and, and it scared everybody. Everybody was like, oh my God, she's a good actress. <laughs> did it make you afraid to meet me? It, not, not afraid of me because I knew you were acting, but it did definitely catch me off guard when I was like, don't. Waste it! <laughs> that's real. <laughs> so that's the first time we saw each other, but then we filmed episode three and we met on that scene where you have an awesome fighting scene. What's <laughs> up? Where you're like beating up all the rangers. Watch. And then Rita comes in. Excellent work. Your training is almost complete. Thank you, Empress Rita. So that's when we met. We were introduced, but we really didn't know each other, and we had to immediately work together without really knowing each other. And that was surprisingly easy. I'll destroy Zordon and his evil Power Rangers. Yes. Destroy those evil baby rangers. <laughs> They are as good as dead. Yeah. Yeah. And then on that same episode, no, the same day, we shot the last scene of episode four. Do you guys remember that scene? Comment below. That was a fun scene to shoot. I think out of all the things we've shot together um, on the Ninja Kids, I would most definitely go with that scene at the mm -hmm. end of see, uh, episode four. Episode four, because we shot episode three and episode four during the same time. Mm -hmm. They were shot together and they were uploaded like two weeks apart. So in that scene is when we really interacted, when we really got to know each other. And there was a scene where I say, do you even comprehend the consequences of your failure? You know, so I yell and he could not stop laughing. You over, 
act it. I mean, you're supposed Can to, but still. Act. <laughs> still, though, no, I could not stop laughing. And I remember at one point, you were going off like, okay, be like, why were you so pathetic? Oh my goodness. <laughs> why are you laughing at me? And it was in the middle of that. And I just broke out and laughed. <laughs> Once and that was one of the best bloopers I've ever had. And once you know this, when you go back, because if you know this information, you can tell that there's parts that he's trying really hard not to laugh. And I try hard when I'm, I'm doing a scene with her. <laughs> and what Ethan told me is that he was just practicing at home with his mom, learning his lines, but then being live on set and having Rita yell at him all the time caught him off guard, but now he's used to it. Mm -hmm. Silence! So, Jeez! We're gonna do that again. I wasn't acting that part. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Silence! Remember what I told you. And you don't laugh most of the time. Tom, he'll jump scare you! I got it! You know what that means? <laughs> you know what that means? She's gonna do it right I back. I am going to get back at him. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Uh, no, I'm not gonna tell you one, but I will get back at you. And I hope I don't scare your mom. <laughs> so we have talked about episode two, three, and four so far of the episodes of Power Rangers. So what is your favorite part of those three episodes? I think the, my most favorite thing to shoot that we've shot together on Ninja mm -hmm. Kids was that scene at the end of episode four. Mm -hmm. Cause I had a blast. <laughs> and I gave you the dragon dagger. Yes. That was awesome. Take this dragon dagger, take it. Now I kept messing up and say the dragon, uh, <laughs> What is it? Yeah. <laughs> and I was trying not to waste. And you can see that in the bloopers at the end of episode four in case you want to see it. Take this dragon, what is it called? <laughs> dragon dagger. Dr dragon dagger, sorry. Yeah, and I didn't want to waste like everybody's time and be laughing a lot, so I was trying to stay serious like, sorry, dragon dagger. I, 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 I couldn't hold it. <laughs> he couldn't. Oh, on episode four, one of my favorite parts is when you guys are trick-or-treating and I'm like, Such adorable little children. You better enjoy your candy while you can. Yeah, and I and I never thought that was super scary. I mean, other people might have. I think uh, Asia said she thought it was kind of scary. Asia, so who plays the Yellow Ranger, Trini, yeah. when I said, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Now shoot! <laughs> and she told me that gave me the crease. <laughs> now I wasn't really that scared of that until I kind of found out what how the story's been going. You went into somebody's house. The story put line was like mm -hmm. you went into somebody's house, mm -hmm. and then like. I, I got everybody to be like passed out so that I could take over the house. Like that's terrifying. Yes. Oh, and, and then be the one giving out the treats. I find that kind of terrifying. Mm -hmm. So once I realized the plot and like the storyline, I was like, okay, that's kind of scary. And do you remember <laughs> the my, scene after that? Yeah, she came back and then she made the girl cry. So a lot I of, felt so bad for the girl. <laughs> a lot of people have asked me how that happened. So. Basically, this is a real family. They're all acting like, you know, they're like passed out. But this is a little baby girl. She doesn't know how to do that. So she was crying because it scared her to see me. Like the whole time she's staring at me crying. But Shane said, could we ask her something or do, you know, just because she's not asleep, she can't act like that. So that's when I said, what? Stop crying or you will be mad. And she cried even more, so we just did it all in one take. We did not want her yeah. to go through that again. And it was funny. And the family did give us permission. So hopefully she'll grow up and think it's funny. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so uh, what about season two, episode one? 
That was a really fun episode to shoot, and I think that is one of my favorite Ninja Kids videos according to quality, because unlike some of the other Ninja Kids videos, or some of the other Power Rangers videos, I should be more specific about that, um, is that it looked more like we were watching a movie, and I really liked how that was edited. And that, I was really happy about that episode. And I was really, felt, I felt really lucky to be in that one. If you remember, it's like a long scene with just Rita and Tommy. They both yeah. have like this very long And monologue. she had, and I felt a little, I, I was wondering kind of how she was doing because that she was one. telling me a story. So she had really long lines yeah. and I was just kind of sitting there listening. So <laughs> all my lines were, oh, did you get okay? Are you all right? <laughs> and even that was hard for me because she would tell the story and remember her lines so well. I was like, um, because mm -hmm. we had this really long scene we had to do. And we practiced lines he helped me. So once we are shooting, I start getting into the story and I don't remember what part it was, but I was just telling this whole story of Rita, why she hates Zordon. Lord Zed stood valiantly against Zordon, but Zordon defeated him. He tricked him and he knocked him into a volcano. And because of Zordon, I have left my planet and I have lost my fiance. Whoa. And just Ethan was looking at me. I was just like, that's such a cool story. And then he had to say a line and everyone's looking at him. He's like, guys, I totally forgot my line. I felt like I was actually watching a real, the real episode. I was watching Rita on the episode. And it's like, huh? I have a line? What? <laughs> yeah, I was telling the story. I was like, whoa. <laughs> he was watching that episode live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other thing, the smoke, remember? There was smoke. So, yeah, so they put on fire. He fused this power into my staff. With it, I was able to destroy. Destroy the Rangers. And the, and the fire was really cool. I thought it was a really cool effect. Plus we had s'mores after it. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is that the smoke from the fire, it was, it was fine until the smoke contacted our eyes. Our eyes would water, they would hurt, they would itch, and it was incredibly tough to keep our eyes open. So sometimes you'd see us in the middle of the line just... You can see me. I'll show you the clip. But... Make no mistake, Tommy. Before I was imprisoned, I learned the true power of the dark sword. I don't know if you noticed ever before, but now you'll always see it. Now you cannot unsee it. That I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna unsee some of the things we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Well, Ethan, thank you so much for being in so many of my videos. Of course, and thank you so much for being in so many of my videos. Oh, I love it. And yeah. we better do more videos. Let's do more collabs. And, and please comment below, what would you like us to do? I was thinking of teaching him some Spanish, maybe teaching him some Latin dancing. Maybe me teaching her some flips or some Fortnite dances. Would I dare? Yeah, Fortnite dances, I'll dare do that. I don't know about the flips. But comment below what you would you like dance. us to do? Just do not put eat rotten eggs. Oh, and if you like this video, actually, what about if this video gets 5,000 likes, you do something really funny. You know how I was saying that I would like to teach him Spanish and some Latin dancing? If this video gets 5,000 likes, would you wear a pink tutu while Latin dancing, doing Latin dancing? Sure. Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be embarrassing. So please like this video and he will learn Latin dancing with a pink cute tutu. You will look fabulous. I so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notifications bell. And did you hear I'm doing a celebration for my 10,000 subscribers? So I'm gonna have a celebration and to find out more information on how you can attend, if you're watching this video before Friday, February 1st, you need to follow me on social media to get all the details. Link to my social media is in the description so follow below. follow my other social medias as well. And you can be part of this celebration and be maybe in the vlog about the celebration. Maybe. Thank you guys again and thank you, Ethan. Of course, thank you. Bye. See you guys later.